Captain Isaac Thornton leaned back in his command chair, staring at the holographic projection of the unknown alien vessel drifting in the void. The ISS Valiant had been on a routine patrol when they picked up the distress signal. Now, they were close enough to see the wreckage with their own eyes. Magnify, Isaac ordered, and the projection zoomed in, revealing the twisted, blackened metal of the alien ship. It looked like it had been through hell, massive gashes along its hull, scorch marks from energy weapons, and debris floating around it like a halo of destruction. Any signs of life? Isaac asked, his voice tense with anticipation. Faint readings, Captain, responded Lieutenant Gabriel Santos, the Valiant's first officer. But it's hard to tell with all the interference. Isaac drummed his fingers on the armrest. Prep and away team. We need to see if there's anyone left to save. Gabriel nodded and relayed the order. Isaac stood up, feeling the familiar weight of his EVA suit as it was handed to him. He glanced at Dr. Sarah Bennett, who was already suited up and ready to go. Her determined expression mirrored his own. The shuttle ride to the alien vessel was tense and silent. The team moved cautiously through the airlock, the hiss of depressurization the only sound. The interior of the ship was dark, lit only by the glow of their suit lights. It was like stepping into a graveyard. Stay alert, Isaac whispered, his voice echoing in the confined space. As they moved deeper into the ship, the destruction became more apparent. Bulkheads were torn apart, and strange alien machinery lay in ruins. They finally reached the control room, where a dim flickering light revealed the source of the distress signal. Isaac's heart skipped a beat when he saw her. A young alien girl, barely alive, was slumped against the control panel. Her skin was a deep blue, marked with intricate patterns that seemed to pulse faintly. Her large, luminescent eyes opened weakly as they approached. Dr. Bennett, we need to stabilize her, Isaac said urgently. She's our only survivor. Sarah moved quickly, scanning the girl and administering a series of injections. Her vitals are weak, but she's holding on. We need to get her back to the Valiant now. Isaac gently lifted the girl, feeling how fragile she was. He couldn't help but wonder what horrors she had witnessed and what had brought her ship to this state. They made their way back to the shuttle, every step heavy with the weight of their new responsibility. Gabriel joined him, holding a tablet with the data they had managed to recover from the alien ship. We managed to pull some information from their systems, Captain. It's in an unknown language, but the AI is working on it. Isaac nodded, his eyes never leaving the scene in the medical bay. How's she doing? She's stable for now, Gabriel replied. But we're flying blind here. We don't know her physiology or what exactly she needs. Inside the medical bay, Sarah and her team were making progress. The alien girl was hooked up to various monitors and an IV drip was feeding her a mix of nutrients and medications designed to support her recovery. The girl's breathing became more regular, and her vitals showed signs of improvement. Captain, we need to talk, Sarah said, stepping out of the medical bay, her expression grave. She's stable, but I have no idea how long that will last. We need more information about her species. Isaac nodded. Gabriel, any luck with the translation? Gabriel tapped on his tablet, bringing up the latest analysis. The AI has made some headway. It appears to be a highly complex language, but we've identified some common patterns. We might be able to establish basic communication soon. Isaac felt a glimmer of hope. Good. We need to know what happened to her ship, and if there are more survivors out there. Keep me updated. Hours passed as they worked on the translation and kept a close watch on their patient. Finally, the AI chimed in with a breakthrough. It had deciphered enough of the language to attempt communication. Isaac and Sarah entered the medical bay, approaching the girl cautiously. Her eyes fluttered open as they drew near, showing a spark of awareness. Hello, Isaac said slowly, hoping the AI's translation was accurate. Can you understand me? The girl blinked, her eyes focusing on him. She opened her mouth and a series of melodic sounds emerged. The AI translated in real time, the voice coming through Isaac's earpiece. I understand, she said weakly. Who are you? I'm Captain Isaac Thornton of the ISS Valiant, he replied gently. We found your ship. We want to help you. Can you tell us what happened? The girl's eyes filled with tears as she spoke, the translation lagging slightly but clear enough. We were attacked by the crawl, 
They destroyed everything. I, I thought I was the only one left. Isaac felt a surge of anger and sorrow. You're safe now. We'll do everything we can to help you and find out more about the crawl. You're not alone. The girl nodded weakly, her eyes closing again as exhaustion overtook her. Isaac looked at Sarah, who gave a reassuring nod. We'll keep her stable, Sarah said, but we need to learn more about her species and the crawl. This is just the beginning. Isaac knew she was right. They had a long road ahead, but they had taken the first step. The discovery of the alien girl and the promise to help her would lead them into an unknown and dangerous path, but he was determined to see it through. The fate of many might rest on the knowledge and alliances they would forge in the coming days. Heart rate is stabilizing, Nurse Patel reported, glancing up from the biomonitor. Good. Keep an eye on her oxygen levels, Sarah instructed, adjusting the flow of nutrients through the IV. The medical bay was a hive of activity. The alien girl who had introduced herself as Leora was showing signs of improvement, but Sarah knew it was a delicate balance. One wrong move could tip her into a critical state. Captain Isaac Thornton and Lieutenant Gabriel Santos watched from the observation deck. Isaac's face was etched with concern, while Gabriel focused on the data streaming in from the ship's sensors. Anything useful from the scans? Isaac asked, his eyes never leaving Leora. Her physiology is extraordinary, Gabriel replied. The AI has identified several key differences from human biology, but there are still gaps in our understanding. We're compiling everything we can. Isaac nodded, deep in thought. We need to know more about her species. Any luck with the translation? Gabriel tapped his tablet. The AI is still working on it. We've managed to establish a rudimentary lexicon, but it's slow going. In the medical bay, Leora began to stir. Her eyes fluttered open and she looked around, disoriented but aware. Sarah leaned in, her expression gentle. Leora, can you hear me? Sarah asked, speaking slowly and clearly. Leora nodded weakly, her voice barely a whisper. Yes, I hear you. Sarah smiled, relief flooding through her. You're safe. We're doing everything we can to help you. Can you tell us more about your injuries? Leora's eyes filled with tears. The crawl. They attacked us. My family, my friends, they're all gone. Sarah placed a comforting hand on her shoulder. We're going to find out why this happened. Rest now, you need your strength. As Leora drifted back to sleep, Sarah stepped out to speak with Isaac and Gabriel. She's stable, but we need more information. We need to understand her species better. Isaac's jaw tightened. Keep her safe, doctor. We'll do our part to find out what happened and make sure the crawl answer for this. Leora, Isaac began, his tone gentle. We need to know more about what happened. Can you tell us about the crawl? Leora sat up slightly, wincing from the effort. The crawl are a warrior race. They conquer and destroy. My people, the Illyrians, have always been peaceful. We never stood a chance. Gabriel nodded, taking notes. We need specifics. How many ships? What kind of weapons? Leora closed her eyes, recalling the horrors she had witnessed. There were at least ten ships. They used plasma weapons, very powerful. Our defenses were overwhelmed in minutes. Isaac exchanged a glance with Gabriel. We faced similar technology before, but on a smaller scale. This sounds like a coordinated attack. Leora's eyes filled with tears again. They killed everyone, my family, my friends. I don't know why they left me alive. Isaac's expression softened. We're going to find out, and we're going to stop them. The AI chimed in, translating more of Leora's data. Captain, I have identified several key locations in crawl territory based on the recovered data. These might be strategic targets or bases of operation. Gabriel leaned in, studying the holographic map that appeared. If we can hit them where it hurts, we might be able to cripple their operations. Isaac nodded. We'll need to prepare. This isn't going to be easy. Over the next few days, Leora became a part of the crew's daily life. Her resilience and determination to help them understand the crawl impressed everyone. She worked closely with the AI to translate more data and provided invaluable insights into Illyrian culture and technology. One evening as the crew gathered for a briefing, Leora stood beside Isaac, her presence a symbol of their mission's importance. We've identified a crawl supply convoy, Gabriel announced. It's heavily guarded, but if we can intercept it, 
will cut off a significant portion of their resources. Isaac looked around the room, seeing the resolve in his crew's eyes. This is our chance to make a difference. We've got allies out there who need our help. Let's show the crawl that humanity and its friends are not to be underestimated. Leora's gaze was firm, her voice steady. For my people, for all who have suffered, we must succeed. The crew of the Valiant nodded in agreement, ready to face the challenges ahead. The battle against the crawl was just beginning, but with Leora's knowledge and the crew's determination, they had a fighting chance. Entering uncharted space in five minutes, Captain, Gabriel announced. Understood, Isaac replied, his mind focused on the mission ahead. He turned to Leora, who stood beside him, her eyes wide with a mixture of fear and determination. We're counting on your knowledge, Leora. Any insights you can provide will be invaluable. Leora nodded, her expression resolute. I'll do my best, Captain. As they crossed into uncharted space, the ship's sensors began to pick up strange readings, unusual energy signatures, gravitational anomalies, and signs of life from unknown species filled the screens. Looks like we're not alone out here, Gabriel remarked, analyzing the data. Stay alert, Isaac ordered. We don't know what we're dealing with. The ship shuddered as it encountered a massive gravitational anomaly, causing the lights to flicker. The crew held their breath as the Valiant navigated through the turbulent space. Steady as she goes, Isaac said, gripping the armrest of his chair. We need to get through this. After what felt like an eternity, the ship finally cleared the anomaly, and the sensors returned to normal. The crew breathed a collective sigh of relief. Captain, I've identified a potential crawl outpost ahead, the AI reported displaying a holographic image of a large asteroid with artificial structures embedded in its surface. Isaac leaned forward, studying the image. This could be our first target. Gabriel, prepare an assault team. Leora, any information you have on their defenses would be helpful. Leora's eyes narrowed as she examined the outpost. They typically use automated turrets and energy shields. Disabling their power source will give us an advantage. Gabriel nodded. We'll plan our approach accordingly. The Valiant approached the asteroid cautiously, using the surrounding debris for cover. The assault team, led by Gabriel, prepared to board the outpost. Isaac watched from the bridge, his heart pounding with anticipation. Team, move out! Gabriel commanded as they launched from the Valiant in a small shuttle. The shuttle maneuvered through the debris field and docked with the outpost. The team breached the airlock, encountering immediate resistance from crawl drones. The firefight was intense, but Gabriel's team fought with precision and determination. Push forward, Gabriel shouted over the comms. We need to reach the power core. Meanwhile, on the Valiant, Isaac monitored their progress. The tension was palpable as the team advanced through the outpost, disabling turrets and cutting through barriers. Finally, they reached the power core a pulsating mass of energy that powered the outpost's defenses. Plant the charges, Gabriel ordered. We're taking this place down. The team quickly set the explosives and retreated to the shuttle. As they sped away from the outpost, the charges detonated, sending a shockwave through the asteroid. Mission accomplished, Captain, Gabriel reported as they returned to the Valiant. Isaac smiled, feeling a sense of triumph. Good work, everyone. Let's see what information we can recover from the wreckage. Captain, we're picking up a crawl ship on the outskirts of an asteroid belt, Gabriel reported, his voice tense with anticipation. Isaac's eyes narrowed. All hands to battle stations, this is it. The Valiant approached the crawl ship cautiously, using the asteroid belt for cover. The crawl vessel was larger and heavily armed, but the element of surprise was on their side. Target their weapon systems, Isaac ordered. We need to disable them before they can react. The Valiant's cannons roared to life, sending a barrage of energy blasts toward the crawl ship. The enemy vessel responded with equal ferocity, and the space between them lit up with the exchange of fire. Shields holding at 75%, the AI reported. We're taking heavy fire. Maintain course, Isaac commanded. Focus on their main weapons array. The battle raged on with both sides sustaining damage. The Valiant's crew worked tirelessly, adjusting shields and returning fire with precision. Isaac's tactical prowess and Gabriel's quick thinking kept them in the fight. Direct hit on their weapons array, 
Gabriel shouted as the crawl ship's main cannons exploded in a shower of sparks. Great work, Isaac said, feeling a surge of adrenaline. Now let's finish this. The Valiant pressed the advantage, targeting the crawl ship's engines and communication systems. With their primary weapons disabled, the crawl were at a significant disadvantage. Captain, they're attempting to retreat, Gabriel reported. Not on my watch, Isaac replied. Pursue and disable their engines. The Valiant closed in on the crippled crawl ship, firing a final volley that rendered it immobile. The crawl crew, realizing their defeat, began transmitting a distress signal. Do we respond, Captain? Gabriel asked. Isaac considered for a moment. We'll take them prisoner. We need information, and they might have it. The Valiant's boarding party, led by Gabriel, secured the crawl ship and took the surviving crew into custody. Isaac interrogated the crawl commander, a fierce and defiant warrior who eventually yielded under pressure. The crawl have a primary base in this sector, the commander revealed grudgingly. You'll never defeat us. Isaac's eyes hardened. We'll see about that. Prepare the crew. We're going after their base. With the coordinates of the crawl base in hand, the Valiant set a course for their next target. The crew's morale was high, bolstered by their recent victory. They knew the fight ahead would be challenging, but they were ready. Welcome to Elysium, Elda said, her voice melodic and calm. We have heard of your bravery and the threat posed by the crawl. Please join us in the Council Hall. The Council Hall was a grand chamber adorned with intricate carvings and filled with representatives from various Zerathian cities. Isaac and his team presented their case, detailing the crawl's atrocities and the need for a united front. The crawl are a menace to all civilizations, Isaac concluded. With your help, we can strike back and protect countless lives. The council members murmured among themselves, their expressions a mix of concern and contemplation. High Chancellor Elda raised her hand, signaling for silence. We Zerathians have always sought peace, Elda said thoughtfully. But we cannot ignore the suffering of others. We will stand with you, Captain Thornton. Together we shall face the crawl. A wave of relief washed over Isaac. The Alliance was a significant step forward. The Zerathians shared their advanced technology and strategic insights, which would be invaluable in the upcoming battles. Later, as the humans and Zerathians celebrated their new alliance, Leora approached Isaac with a smile. Thank you, Captain. You've given us hope. Isaac nodded, his determination renewed. This is just the beginning. We have a long fight ahead, but we'll face it together. Isaac stood on the bridge, overseeing the final preparations. All hands prepare for combat, he ordered. The crew moved with practiced efficiency, readying the ship's weapons and defenses. The Valiant took position in a dense asteroid field along the convoy's path. The crew waited in tense silence, their eyes on the sensors as they tracked the approaching crawl ships. The convoy consisted of several large transports escorted by heavily armed frigates. Convoys in range, Gabriel reported, his fingers hovering over the tactical console. Shall we engage? Isaac nodded. Engage. Target their escorts first. We need to neutralize their defenses quickly. The Valiant's cannons roared to life, sending a volley of plasma bolts toward the crawl frigates. The asteroids provided cover, allowing the Valiant to strike with precision and avoid return fire. The first crawl frigate exploded in a brilliant flash of light, its debris scattering into space. Frigate one down, Gabriel announced, shifting target to the next escort. The crawl responded with a barrage of their own, but the Valiant's shields absorbed the impact. The crew worked seamlessly, maintaining their advantage and picking off the crawl ships one by one. Convoy defenses are compromised, the AI reported. Transports are attempting to retreat. Pursue and disable their engines, Isaac commanded. We need to capture those supplies. The Valiant's weapons focused on the transports, disabling their engines and leaving them adrift. Boarding teams were dispatched to secure the valuable cargo and any crawl prisoners. As the dust settled, Isaac surveyed the battlefield. The ambush had been a resounding success. The crawl convoy was neutralized and their supplies were now in the hands of the human Zerathian Alliance. Excellent work, everyone, Isaac said, his voice filled with pride. Let's get those supplies on board and see what we can learn from the crawl prisoners.
Back on the Valiant, the crew inventoried the captured supplies and interrogated the prisoners. The intelligence they gathered provided crucial insights into crawl operations and supply lines. We've dealt a significant blow to the crawl, Gabriel said, reviewing the data, but we need to stay vigilant. They'll likely retaliate. Isaac nodded, his mind already planning their next move. We've gained the upper hand for now, but the real battle is still ahead. Let's use this advantage to prepare for what's coming. The victory bolstered the crew's morale and strengthened their resolve. With the Xerathians by their side and valuable intelligence in their hands, they were ready to take the fight to the crawl and protect the galaxy from their tyranny. Isaac and his officers gathered in the briefing room to discuss the next steps. High Chancellor Elda joined via hologram, her serene presence a calming influence on the tense atmosphere. We've gained valuable intelligence from the crawl prisoners, Gabriel said, pointing to the holographic map. Their main supply routes and some of their secondary bases are now known to us. We must strike quickly and decisively, Elda added. Disrupting their supply lines will cripple their ability to wage war. As plans were being finalized, a distress signal from the Zarathian homeworld, Elysium, interrupted the meeting. Elda's expression turned grave as she listened to the urgent message. High Chancellor, we are under attack. The Krall have breached our defenses. Isaac's eyes widened in shock. How could they know our plans? Elda's gaze hardened. There must be a traitor among us. The Valiant and its allied fleet jumped into action, racing to Elysium's defense. As they emerged from hyperspace, they were greeted by a scene of chaos. Krall ships swarmed the Zarathian cities, raining destruction upon the once peaceful planet. Deploy all fighters and engage the crawl, Isaac ordered, his voice steady despite the turmoil. The battle was fierce, with the Valiant and Zarathian forces fighting valiantly to repel the crawl. Amidst the chaos, Isaac received an urgent message from one of his officers. Captain, we've identified the traitor. It's Commander Thal, one of the Zarathian military leaders. He's been feeding the crawl our plans. Isaac's jaw clenched in anger. Find him and bring him to me. A squad of Zarathian soldiers tracked down Commander Thal, who attempted to flee but was quickly apprehended. Brought before Isaac and Elda, Thal's defiance turned to fear as he faced their wrath. Why, Thal? Elda demanded, her voice trembling with fury. Why betray your own people? Thal's eyes darted around, seeking an escape. The crawl promised power and safety for those who sided with them. I did what I had to do to survive. Isaac's expression was cold. Your betrayal cost countless lives. You will answer for this. With Thal in custody, the battle continued. The combined forces of the Valiant and the Zarathians eventually drove the crawl back, but the damage was severe. As the dust settled, the survivors began to count their losses and rebuild. Elda addressed her people and the crew of the Valiant. Today, we faced a grave betrayal, but we also proved our resilience. We will rebuild and we will continue to fight against the crawl. Together, we are stronger. Isaac stood beside her, his resolve strengthened. This betrayal won't be our downfall. We will honor those we lost by pressing forward and ending the crawl threat once and for all. Isaac stood on the bridge of the Valiant, his expression determined. We have the coordinates of their main base. This is our chance to end this war. Prepare for hyperspace jump. The Valiant, accompanied by a fleet of Zarathian ships, jumped to hyperspace navigating through the dangerous and uncharted regions of crawl space. The journey was fraught with peril, from gravitational anomalies to hidden minefields, but the fleet pressed on, driven by a shared purpose. Captain, we're approaching the crawl command center, Gabriel reported, his eyes on the sensors. It's heavily fortified. This won't be easy. Isaac nodded, his jaw set. We've come this far. We're not turning back now. All hands, battle stations. The Valiant emerged from hyperspace to find a massive crawl space station surrounded by warships and defense turrets. The crawl were ready for them, but the element of surprise was on the Alliance's side. Engage all targets, Isaac commanded. We need to breach their defenses and get a boarding team inside that station. The battle that ensued was the fiercest the Valiant had ever faced. The crawl warships unleashed a torrent of firepower and the space around the station lit up with explosions and energy beams. The Valiant's shields strained under the assault, but the crew fought with unwavering determination. 
Focus fire on their turrets, Gabriel directed, coordinating the attack. We need to create an opening for the boarding team. With precision strikes, the Valiant and its allies disabled several of the station's defensive turrets, creating a narrow window of opportunity. Isaac turned to Gabriel and Leora, who were leading the boarding team. Your team is up, Isaac said. Get in there and take out their command center. Gabriel and Leora, along with a squad of elite soldiers, boarded a shuttle and launched toward the crawl station. They navigated through the chaos of battle, dodging enemy fire and debris. As they docked with the station, the team moved swiftly, breaching the airlock and encountering immediate resistance. Move forward, Gabriel shouted, leading the charge. We need to reach the control room. The team fought their way through the station's corridors, facing fierce opposition from crawl soldiers. Leora's knowledge of crawl tactics and technology proved invaluable, helping the team to bypass security systems and outmaneuver their enemies. As they reached the control room, they faced the crawl commander, a towering figure exuding menace. The final confrontation was brutal, with Gabriel and Leora leading the assault. With determination and teamwork, they overpowered the commander and secured the control room. Control room secured, Gabriel reported over the comms, initiating shutdown of the station's defenses. Back on the Valiant, Isaac watched as the station's defenses began to power down. Great work, team. All ships, focus your fire on the station's main reactor. Let's finish this. The combined firepower of the Alliance fleet targeted the station's reactor. The massive structure began to buckle and crack under the relentless assault. Finally, with a blinding explosion, the Crawl Command Center was destroyed, sending shockwaves through the surrounding space. Cheers erupted on the Valiant's bridge as the realization of their victory set in. The destruction of the Crawl Command Center was a major turning point in the war. The Crawl Fleet, now leaderless and disorganized, retreated into the depths of space. Isaac took a deep breath, feeling the weight of the battle lift. We did it. We've dealt the crawl a blow they won't recover from. The Allied fleet, now bolstered by more Zarathian ships and volunteers from other species who had suffered under crawl tyranny, gathered at a strategic point near the crawl's last stronghold. Morale was high, but the reality of the impending conflict weighed heavily on everyone. Isaac stood on the bridge of the Valiant, addressing his crew. This is it. The crawl are on their last legs, but they're not going to go down without a fight. We've come this far together, and together we'll see this through. For our fallen comrades, for our allies, and for the future of this galaxy. The crew responded with determined nods and affirmations. Isaac turned to Leora, who had become a symbol of their cause. Leora, your strength and courage have brought us this far. Any final insights? Leora, now fully recovered and dressed in a combat uniform, nodded. The crawl will be desperate. They'll throw everything they have at us. But we know their tactics, and we have the advantage of unity and resolve. Let's make it count, Isaac said. All ships, prepare for engagement. Move to battle formation. The Allied fleet advanced toward the crawl stronghold, a massive fortress surrounded by the last of their warships. The tension was palpable as the two forces closed in on each other. The crawl, true to form, unleashed a furious barrage of weapons fire, but the Allies were ready. Evasive maneuvers, return fire, Isaac ordered, the Valiant's cannons roaring to life. The battle erupted in a maelstrom of explosions and energy blasts. Ships darted and weaved through the chaos, fighters engaged in dogfights, and capital ships exchanged devastating broadsides. The Valiant's crew worked with flawless coordination, each member playing their part in the intricate dance of combat. Target their flagship, Gabriel directed, his fingers flying over the tactical console. If we take it out, the rest will fall. The Valiant's cannons focused on the Crawl flagship, a colossal warship, bristling with weapons. The Allied fleet followed suit, concentrating their firepower on the enemy's command vessel. The Crawl fought back fiercely but their efforts were disjointed and desperate. Shields at 50%, the AI reported. We're taking heavy damage. Hold steady, Isaac shouted. We're almost there. The Allied fire intensified, finally breaching the flagship shields and striking critical systems. The crawl flagship shuddered, internal explosions ripping through its hull. With a final massive detonation, the flagship was obliterated, sending a shockwave through the battlefield. Flagship destroyed, 
Gabriel announced. The crawl are in disarray. The remaining crawl ships, seeing their command ship's destruction, began to falter. The Allied fleet pressed the advantage, systematically dismantling the enemy's defenses. One by one, the crawl ships were disabled or destroyed, until the last remnants of their once mighty fleet were nothing but debris. As the dust settled, a cheer went up from the Valiant's crew and across the Allied fleet. The battle was won. The crawl threat was finally vanquished. Isaac took a deep breath, feeling the weight of the conflict lift. We did it, he said quietly. We've brought peace to the galaxy. Isaac stood on the bridge, surveying the damage reports and casualty lists. The euphoria of victory was tempered by the somber reality of their sacrifices. He turned to Gabriel, who was equally subdued. Prepare a message for all ships, Isaac said. We need to honor our fallen and recognize the bravery of everyone who fought. Gabriel nodded, and a short time later, Isaac addressed the fleet. To all members of the Allied fleet, today, we celebrate a hard-earned victory. The crawl have been defeated, and peace has been restored. But let us not forget the price we paid. Many of our friends and comrades gave their lives for this cause. We honor their sacrifice and pledge to build a future worthy of their courage. The message was met with solemn acknowledgments from across the fleet. Memorial services were held on every ship, paying tribute to the fallen heroes. On the Valiant, the crew gathered in the main hall, where a memorial wall had been erected, displaying the names of those who had given their lives. Leora stood beside Isaac, her eyes reflecting both sorrow and hope. They will be remembered, she said softly. Their sacrifices will not be in vain. Isaac nodded. We owe it to them to make the most of this peace, to rebuild and ensure that the crawl can never threaten anyone again. As the fleet made its way back to friendly space, efforts turned toward reconstruction and healing. The Xyrathians, with their advanced technology, played a crucial role in repairing the damaged ships and aiding the wounded. The bond between the human and Xyrathian civilizations grew stronger, cemented by their shared victory and mutual respect. On Elysium, the rebuilding process began in earnest. The Xerathian cities, scarred by the Kral's attack, were restored to their former glory. The alliance between humans and Xerathians extended beyond military cooperation, blossoming into a partnership of cultural exchange and mutual support. Isaac and Leora visited the memorial site on Elysium, where a monument had been erected to honor all who had fought against the Kral. The monument, a towering structure of crystal and light, symbolized the unity and resilience of the Allied forces. Captain Thornton, Elda said, approaching them, your leadership and bravery have been instrumental in achieving this victory. The Zarathians are forever grateful. Isaac shook his head modestly. It was a collective effort, High Chancellor. We all played our parts, and we will continue to work together to ensure a lasting peace. Leora placed a hand on the monument her expression one of quiet determination. The Illyrians may be few, but we will help build this future. My people and I will stand by your side. With the crawl threat eliminated, the galaxy began to heal. Former enemies became allies, united by their shared struggle and the promise of a better future. The Valiant, now a symbol of hope and resilience, continued its mission of exploration and protection, ready to face whatever new challenges lay ahead. Isaac, Gabriel, Leora, and the rest of the crew knew that their journey was far from over. But they faced the future with hope and determination, knowing that together they could overcome any obstacle and build a galaxy where peace and cooperation prevailed. Captain, we're approaching the coordinates, Gabriel announced from his station. The bridge hummed with anticipation. Isaac nodded, glancing at Leora, who had become a trusted advisor and friend. Let's see what's out there. As the Valiant emerged from hyperspace, the view on the main screen revealed a vibrant star system with multiple habitable planets. The sensor array began to light up with data, indicating rich resources and signs of intelligent life. Scan for life forms and any potential threats, Isaac ordered. We don't want any surprises. The sensors picked up numerous life signs on the second planet from the star. The readings indicated a technologically advanced civilization but there were no signs of aggressive defenses or hostile actions. Looks like we found someone interesting, 
Gabriel said, studying the data. Their technology is advanced, but they don't appear to be a threat. Let's make contact, Isaac decided. Prepare a shuttle. Leora, Gabriel, you're with me. The shuttle descended to the surface, landing near a sprawling city of sleek, metallic structures intertwined with lush greenery. The architecture was unlike anything they had seen, blending seamlessly with the natural landscape. As the shuttle door opened, a delegation of the planet's inhabitants approached. They were tall, with luminous skin that seemed to shift colors in the sunlight, and their eyes glowed with an inner light. Greetings, Isaac said, stepping forward. I am Captain Isaac Thornton, of the ISS Valiant. We come in peace and seek to establish friendly relations. One of the beings, who appeared to be their leader, stepped forward and smiled warmly. Welcome, Captain Thornton. I am Elara, Chancellor of the Elorian Council. We have been observing your approach and are pleased to meet you. The initial meeting went smoothly, with both sides eager to learn from one another. The Elorians shared their knowledge of the region and offered their assistance in rebuilding efforts across the galaxy. In return, the Valiant's crew provided insights into their own technologies and experiences. We've been looking for allies like you, Elara said during a tour of their city. Together, we can achieve much. Isaac felt a surge of optimism. Agreed. This is the start of a strong and beneficial relationship. Isaac received the signal on the bridge, the message garbled but unmistakable in its urgency. Captain, this is an emergency broadcast. We are under attack by crawl remnants, requesting immediate assistance. Isaac's expression hardened. Prepare to jump to the coordinates. We need to help them. The Valiant, along with a contingent of Elorian ships, jumped to the source of the distress signal. They arrived in a star system on the edge of known space, where a small, heavily damaged fleet was under assault by a group of crawl warships. Engage the crawl, Isaac ordered. Protect those ships at all costs. The battle was fierce but swift. The Valiant and its allies struck with precision, overwhelming the crawl remnants and forcing their retreat. The remaining crawl ships scattered, leaving the beleaguered fleet safe but shaken. Isaac hailed the lead ship of the distressed fleet. This is Captain Isaac Thornton of the ISS Valiant. You're safe now. Who are you? The screen flickered to life, revealing a battered but determined alien commander. I am Commander Raylor of the Free Orion Fleet. We've been fighting the crawl for years, but we've been on our own until now. Isaac's eyes widened in recognition. The Orions were a race thought lost to the crawl decades ago. Commander Raylor, we've heard stories of your people. It's an honor to meet you. Raylor's expression softened with relief. We thought we were alone in this fight. Your arrival has given us hope. The Orions were brought aboard the Valiant for medical treatment and debriefing. They shared their harrowing experiences of surviving under constant crawl threat and their efforts to resist. We've been hiding and striking from the shadows, Raylor explained, but our numbers are dwindling. Isaac placed a reassuring hand on Raylor's shoulder. You're not alone anymore. We'll stand together and put an end to the crawl threat once and for all. The arrival of the Orions brought new strength to the Alliance. Their knowledge of the crawl and guerrilla tactics provided valuable insights into the remaining pockets of resistance. The Valiant, now leading a coalition of united races, prepared for the final push to eliminate the crawl threat from the galaxy.